Is this, uh, is this, uh, Nick? Yes, this is Tate Blue. How are you today? What can I do for you? Well, I talked to your secretary, and I asked her, and I asked her if you had went through the videos that are on the World Wide Web of ours of the police stealing from us and filed motions to demiss for police misconduct. Okay, I have reviewed the videos that you were talking about on the web. There is no, legally, there is no motion that can be filed to dismiss based on police misconduct. Why? That those, are separate, those are two separate things. What you're talking about for stealing your stuff is a civil um, cause of action against the sheriff's office that you're talking about. I don't do civil work. The work I have is specifically court appointed to represent you on these criminal matters. So, no, I have not filed a motion to dismiss based on police misconduct. Or for insufficient evidence? Just to file such a motion. Or for insufficient evidence also? What did you say, sir? I'm sorry. And for insufficient evidence? Well, there is... No evidence. Based upon review of your... Videos, your videos don't tell me what evidence they do or don't have. That's in the police reports that they've provided to us. The videos that we've just recently received in my office, um, I believe Friday, that relate uh, to the videos from the in-car cameras and whatever other videos they've provided to us that I've received here in the office that have not reviewed. Okay. I've reviewed the ones you have online. I understand your claim that they from you. But their claim that they property from you or that they were, that they were uh, up to you or anything like that does not relate to whether you're criminally culpable in this case. I will have to assess that based upon the evidence that they've provided to me and whether they can... You need to you need to uh, email those to, uh, to to my email. Well, those are too large to be emailed to an email. If you if you provide me with an address to send those DVDs, I will gladly copy them and send them to you. Yeah. But I too large to send via email. Huh. Uh, well, you could send them to my uh, WordPress. That one has a lot of role because. I am not going to send evidence on the internet. I need an address where I can copy them and send them to you. I don't know because if that if the police are doing that misconduct, that means they're not credible in court for the evidence that they're sending and that that you guys are using against me. Because well, if they're not credible, you got, if they're not credible, I am not lumped in with the police. Now. I represent you, but what I'm saying is I'm not going to file a motion to dismiss based on police conduct. That motion does not exist okay. under Iowa law. We're done with that. All right. That's not a legal basis for that. Insufficient evidence of that one. <laughs> and there's not a legal basis at this point in time, but from what I know, to dismiss based on insufficient evidence. If you want a trial, you just go to trial. I mean... Okay, so then your next court date. Uh, when's my next court date? Uh, uh, I need to ask you about something else that you asked my secretary. When's my next court date? Uh, your next court date is... Let me look at my calendar here.
it. No, that's not what you're saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. Saying they're... Well, they're that's what you're implying. Well, you, know, you can think I'm applying anything, but I have them on. I have them on recording doing that, and I'm sure they didn't send you the recordings of them doing that when they were on their own recordings of doing it, which means they're suppressing their recordings from you, and you need to attack that, and you're not attacking it, which leads leads me not to trust you. So, I mean, you're supposed to be attacking it hardcore, and you're not. And I gotta like try to convince you to attack it, and that's not what. Or that's not, in my opinion, and it's not what. That's not good representation. Okay. So uh, that, that's what it is. You should be attacking that. I don't care if they're cops. That's what they did. If you're not happy with the work I'm doing, I can withdraw, and you can get new counsel. That's not a problem. Well, that's 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 fine. That's why I wanted. Uh, these addresses for to um, ask them what is their opinion on what's going on because I can't trust your opinion because I know what the law says they can't hoard evidence from you and they are and keep trying to keep trying to convict me and they are and you got the evidence of it and you're not attacking it you aren't doing nothing for it so copies of the DVDs that they have sent me if you would provide me an address to send them to I I'm not even home yet. I can't even drive. I said I'm not even home yet. I can't even drive home to to take care of my ordeals there. Because of them. Because of them and my license. I can't get you. you the only way you can get back a license is if you go to the state of California. There is no document that I can get here that will allow you to drive in the state of Iowa. I'm trying to get there, but I can't get there and drive through all the states without a license, you know? I'm kind of, like, stuck. I'm done with you. So I don't know what to do, but... I know what's lawful, and they can't hoard evidence from my attorney or me, and they are, and that needs to be attacked. So, well, I, I am going to send you the stuff that you've requested, these police reports. I will email them to you, okay? Okay. okay. And my wife's police report? My wife's police report? Your wife's police report? Yes. I don't have access to your wife's police report without going to the police and getting it. But it's not okay. attached to... Information. It's relevant to my case because that's what they're basing it off of. Well, I'm a it. Uh, it doesn't relate to you. I can go and oh. try to public records request for that police report. Yeah. That's all I can do. Uh, that would be, that'll be sufficient. And get a copy of that. Yeah. Great. And just send it and that's all. Email me if you can. can you all right. Who does your wife have for an attorney? She never had an attorney. They, I was, Did she have criminal charges associated with this? She had some kind of a, she had some kind of like a, a public intoxication charge. They started. And they, they went to her campsite when she was asleep, and they, these cops just jumped her, and then a male cops just jumped her while she was asleep, and they don't have no evidence or any, or anything of anything on her. They just jumped my wife. What did she do on her criminal charges? She, what she did is she's um, going to file documents, a uh, habeas corpus, because they extorted her. The, it's on court record through the judge. She bring it up to him, and they had her vehicle, and they had her dog. who are not from there, and they said that they're going to keep her vehicle and her dog if she pleads not guilty, and they're not going to return those to her, but if she pleads guilty, then she then they're going to give her back her vehicle and her dog. So she pled guilty under duress, and she signed it that way, under duress, to get her vehicle and her dog, and now she's filling out a habeas corpus that, because they extorted her, using her vehicle and her dog is not something that's an admission of guilt or not. That's, that's extortion for a criminal charge, and that's not what it is. But it, but the fact is, is, is she was jumped while she was asleep at her paid campsite with no evidence against her. It's in her police report. I was asleep when they jumped me. So, it's in, it, that's what happened. It was asleep when they jumped her. So. Isn't that crazy? 
Isn't that crazy? Male cops jumping a female on the sleeping Yeah, male, male cops just walking up to a female while she's asleep at her own paid campsite where she paid to sleep and just jumping her, a bunch of them, and committing violence on her. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I've scratched from them. I've been yeah. that too. <laughs> I think so. That's I don't know. Crazy. No male cops be putting their hands on females, period. Mr. Bailey. Hello? Yes, I'm still here. I'm typing I mean, an email you know, with yeah. the police report. Yeah, that's like that's like nuts, you know, to, to us. That's like totally illegal. Yeah, they can't. They can't just jump a innocent woman sleeping in her campsite and beat her up, and people say it's just a civil matter. Forget you go through the criminal process. No civil process. Yeah. Well, you know that. Those are no, they tied me in with her when they arrested me. They based me off of getting arrested with her. My charge isn't like a, 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 a driving while intoxicated type charge. My charge was for committing violence. Yeah. For, um, it was like a... a disturbing the public with committing violence type of charge, which mine was. And the paperwork you gave me doesn't have that one on there. They they 86 that one, it appears off me, and they're giving me the other one, but that's not what they originally got me for. They tied my name with hers, and she was my co-defendant. Bill, or did I pronounce it? How do you pronounce your last name? Sorry. Yeah, Baloo. Blue. Well, they've got you for two charges. They've got you charged with operating my first offense, but they all, you also still have a charge of disorderly conduct. Okay, I didn't get that paperwork. Oh, no, I didn't get that one. I thought that was okay. I got the other one. I got the other one, but not that one. Okay, well, I will copy you on that right now. And I can't be disorderly when I was complying with everything they told me to do. And they jumped me and pissed me off. <laughs> you just dispute these charges. The answer is for you and I to take them to trial. There's no pre-trial motion that can be filed to get rid of these things. I, I know you believe that, but that's just not the case. You'll take it to trial. Well, I'm not, I'm not you'll take it to trial and point out the things that they did wrong. Well, what's the what's the um what's the state bar's uh, phone number? Because I want to ask them about this because I just don't believe that this is the United States of America. They can't just do that stuff. What they're doing, and and I don't believe I don't believe that they can just because that's Iowa. I have them dead, bang, busted, and they can't do that and say get locked up anyway, forget you. I don't believe that. I would like their 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 address and um. I would I'm going to ask him some, some bar. questions. Here. Just listen. I will gladly give you the State Bar Association. Yeah. No. But, Mr. Ballou, I think in talking to you, and I mean this to respect, okay? I do respect you. I think you and I differ as to what we think this case should take or as whether pre-trial motions should be filed or whether um, it should just go to the trial or what should happen. I think you've made several comments to me that you don't trust what I'm saying and you're planning on basically complaining about that bar association. I don't think I can continue to represent you. I think you should withdraw and we should get another attorney. So get a fresh look at it. That's my opinion. So is that going to mess up the court date? Is that going to mess up my court date? It will not, I, I don't know. It, let me let me tell you that. I don't know the answer to that question. If I file that motion right now, um, it is far enough in advance that they should be able to get another attorney appointed and get someone on. And how do I find out about my new attorney? How do, how do I find out about my new attorney? Are they going to email me or what? I, when the court entered an order, if the court enters an order for any of the new attorney, I would email you and let you know that person's contact information. Gladly hand over my entire file to that person. Yeah. Including all the DVDs that they have given me. Yeah. Okay. I understand where you're coming from, but do you understand that it puts you and I in a very weird position for you to be saying you don't 
don't trust me and you're going to turn me into the bar. 